How's it going everyone? Hopefully everyone is doing well. Thank you so much for checking out this video. It means the world. Um, but today we played Indian Canyon Golf Course. Now this course has lots of hills, lots of terrain, great scenery, and a lot of trees. The elevation is perfect. I love this course because there's so many different chop shapes and stuff like that. It's really cool to play. We teed off about 6.45 in the morning. I played with Austin again today and we had the first hour, hour and a half to the course, basically to ourselves, which was crazy. I haven't had that experience in a while, but it could be because they do have, I think, five temporary greens right now because they're getting ready for a tournament. So in about three weeks, the course will be in phenomenal condition. It was in great condition today, but let's just get right into the golf. That's what we're here for. Hole number one is a 456 yard hole. Now, if you watch this swing, I do not hold my finisher pose and yeah, the shot was turned out okay, not the best, but my second shot definitely offered a challenge here. I tried to hit it low and under the trees, but this is the only shot I had towards this hole. Now, just like last week's video, I do not have all of Austin's shots, but I do got a majority of them. And on this shot right here, he had a nice 29-yard shot. Accidentally put it right into the beach. Ooh. <laughs> Now, hitting out of this beach is just like hitting out of your backyard dirt. I'll play. Was not very good. We got a chip shot here. As you can tell, I finally did not chunk it last week. That was a horrible thing I kept dealing with, is I just kept chunking. But I worked on it and improved it a week later. Sweet. Now starting off with a double bogey was pretty rough, but I just got to take it one shot at a time. Plenty of golf to play. Skyed it. Down the pipe. Also went to just hit a six iron just down the middle of the fairway, give himself a good third shot, but he hooked it right into the trees. Went right through the... I had a perfect shot here right into the green. I hit a little left of the green, it hit the hill and kicked me right onto the green for a pretty good shot. Oh, what a kick. Now, unfortunately, this was Austin's lie. Couldn't ask for a worse lie. Oh boy. Man, what unfortunate. Come on, come on back. Don't go on the beach. Or first eagle putt of 2019. I was pretty pumped about this. <laughs> but I did did not leave it short. I gave it a okay. chance. Two putt birdie. Take that any day of the week. Oh, what a ball. Austin's second shot here went right towards the bunker, but he got a really good <laughs> kick onto the green. Oh. <laughs> the pin was just tucked behind the bunker here, and I really wanted to attack it, but I just mentally kept thinking of the bunker, so I decided to play it safe, hit the middle of the green, and give myself a little bit longer of a birdie putt, but a guarantee par instead of a bogey or double from the bunker. Oof. Oh, I'm a lot happier with my putting already. Austin here went to go for the tap in bogey, but decided to, he should probably line it up, which is probably a good thing because he almost missed that. Now, hole number four is 138 yards, and for some reason, both Austin and I hit it really, really short. I mean, we did have some headwind, but I don't know why, but we could have stepped up like one or two clubs. 
directly at it, just short. Oh, shot. Now my chipping has gotten a lot better, but it's just not quite there and I decided to put this from just off the fringe. Line. So hole number five is the first temporary green. Normally this hole plays over 300 yards, but it's only playing 238, but still registers a par four, which we were still confused about. Um, I chunked my second shot, so this is actually my third shot. And then as you can see, Austin will do a practice putt on here just to test how these were. His ball bounces all over and then like stops, but then rolls back a little bit. These greens were in horrible condition. <laughs> <laughs> So we just decided as long as you make it on there, we'll just do a one putt and we'll call it a day because these greens were just <laughs> terrible. You went right between. Normally, if you do hit a cart path like this, you can get a free drop, free relief, and keep your feet off of the cart path. But we did not do that. <laughs> Austin right here hit a great shot right into the green, but unfortunately it hit the hill. That came out and nice. rocketed 30 yards back. Oh my god. Now in this shot it was a little bit nerve-wracking because I had it up and over the trees and over all these service and maintenance vehicles of people maintaining the course, obviously. But it hit the green, turned out alright, left myself a lookable putt for birdie. And then here's where Austin's shot was after hitting the back side of this hill. Nah, you're fine. I mean, at least I'm not giving myself three fight opportunities. Well, you definitely got into it. <laughs> Yes! Now hole 7 is a very drivable par 4 and I let that get to my head instead of playing it safe I could have just hit an iron and had less than 100 yards towards the hole. Instead I just smacked it all the way into the trees. Get around the corner. Now for my second shot here, I went to go and just hit a punch right to the bunker, the left edge of the bunker, but I decided to get rid of it and go with my 7 iron, try to attack the pin because there's a backboard up behind. And uh, how you hit these little slice shots is you have your feet aiming at where about you want the ball to go and then your club face at your target. So I have my feet just aimed just kind of at this tree right here. My club face is aimed over at the pin. Now I'm bringing the club down and I'm letting the club do all the work. It's just how you have your feet and how the twisting of your body does. And it worked out perfectly. Austin couldn't believe it. Hey! <laughs> now normally I would chip these shots, but I was downhill and dry stuff and there was a root and I was afraid of blading it through the green and into the bunker. So I decided to putt it. And uh, it was, it was, it was okay. That was not terrible. I thought it was about to. Really good, I, it like right here. I thought it was gonna stop in that grass. Gotta hit it, Nancy. 
<laughs> it's unlucky. Now make sure when you're in a tee box that you find a nice flat area. I get ready to swing here and I'm doing some practice swings and I realize, wait a second, this... Make sure your feet feel comfortable where you're standing. Do you have lots of room to move From on a tee box? And I just, I didn't get comfortable so I had to remove and readjust. And I ended up hitting a great shot after doing this. So hole number eight was then a temporary green, and Austin's ball bounced all over the place. Oh, what a kick. <laughs> Look at it bounce. So I was just a couple yards <laughs> off the green, just basically tapped it on, and we moved forward. Austin really went after this, Man, hit the trees, came that. back. Number nine was also a temporary green. It really plays like 350, but it was two like 42. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to go for this 242 yard par four. Very rare that I see this. And they took the, the pin over on the left-hand side by the cart path. And I, uh, I gave it a whack and I attempted to drive this. Now the piece of paper the clubhouse gave us just showed us how short the temporary greens were from the thing, but we weren't told if the par 4s were changed to a par 3, so we still played them as par 4s because that's what the scorecard and also our phone app said. And uh, so we were playing basically as long as you land on temporary green. If it's reasonable, we'll just go one putt and move forward. But uh, on this one, I couldn't give myself a birdie on the last hole. Um, also, I was pretty far, so we both felt, you know, we'll give myself a two putt. But I almost drove the green here. It was pretty fun playing a short hole, but look at the condition of these temporaries. So I just took a two putt par and moved on. So the front nine went really well, in my opinion. I played really well. I didn't hit as many fairways as I'd like, but that's okay. I went two of seven fairways. The biggest difference in this nine was the putting. I had 14 putts this time. Now, if you remember from my last video, my putting was horrendous. I had so many three putts, I wasn't even close to putting towards the hole. So I spent a lot of time coming to my house and putting dimes on the carpet and I was just putting to the dimes. Worked out phenomenal. Night and day difference. Green regulations, four of nine. Pretty pleased with that. Um, as far as the temporary greens go, Austin and I decided that we were just gonna do like, if you land on the temporary green, it'll just add one stroke and we'll move on to the hole or to the next hole. But on hole number nine, I just could not give myself a like, give me birdie. It just it didn't it didn't feel comfortable. So reasonably, I was like, okay, well, I got on two, but I'll give myself a two putt for that hole. Um, but on hole number six, I did just give myself a one putt from that one. But I just I couldn't take a like my second birdie of the year couldn't be from a temporary green. I just couldn't have that. <laughs> but hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for checking out this. Uh, be sure to leave a like, share the video with your golfer friends, subscribe, and also check the description down below. I do have an Instagram. Check that out. Back down video I will have a little bit later on this week, which you can find right here. Or what else you can find right there is a pretty cool video you should check out until I get the back down video out.